Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Minakshi and I recently got myself enrolled for PhD degree program in National Law University and Judicial Academy, Assam. After results were out, many people came to me asking how to prepare for the exam, what is the syllabus or exam pattern, what kind of questions can we expect or how did I prepare for the exam. So I thought why not make a video and answer all of those questions that you had to ask. If you ask me, I don't think there is any perfect way of preparing for an exam. It clearly depends on what suits you and how you prefer to study. There may be some people who would prefer books like these and they can just read from there while some others may just pick a barrack and then read from there. Some others may prefer writing their own notes and reading from there. While for many others it may be okay to refer to online websites, blog posts or someone else's notes also they can refer to. So it clearly depends what you are comfortable with and accordingly you can go forward with it. In this video, I am not here to tell you about the perfect way of preparing for an exam but I will just tell you how I prepared for the exam. But before that, I just wanted to share the exam pattern and syllabus with you. Because it does not matter which university you are targeting at, they more or less have the same kind of exam pattern or the syllabus as well. The exam pattern for our university was 25 objective type questions without any negative marking. Like one mark for each question without any negative marking. We had 10 5 marks questions out of which we need to attempt any 5 and 7 25 marks questions out of which we need to attempt any 2. And for the syllabus, we have subjects like contract, jurisprudence, personal law, which includes both Hindu and Muslim law, constitutional law, international law, criminal law, human rights, environmental law, corporate law, and intellectual property rights. So these were the basic subjects that we had to study. When I started preparing for the exam, the biggest doubt that I had was whether they are focusing on current affairs or what, what sort of legal developments are going on in India or they are going to focus on basic questions that we have like for any subject for that matter right so that was my biggest question so I tried to study the basic concepts of all the topics as well as I tried referring to some websites or YouTube channels which were mainly focused on current legal developments in India so that I have an idea with regard to that now it's always a good idea if you are updated on the current legal affairs because even though that's a basic question that is being asked from your constitution paper you can always refer those recent developments and put those in your answer it will just give strength to your question basically uh, i remember there was a question with regard to freedom of speech and expression if i'm not wrong from article 19 clause 1 clause 8 so there you can easily fit in the toolkit case that is in news recently so that's why it's always a good idea to be updated with the recent developments as well what is going on in the legal field and also you study the basic legal concepts which are important for any subject matter. To start with the preparation, the first thing that I did is downloading the syllabus and then I tried to keep aside all the books that I will be needing to study. Like for example, there was Indian Penal Code, so I will keep a bare of Indian Penal Code, a simple basic book on Indian Penal Code, as well as my notes that I had from my LLB or LLM days. So I kept all of those things separate which I will be needing to prepare for that exam. Now don't worry, I will put a link for all these books that I referred to in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video. So if you are interested in buying any of these books, you can simply click on the link and then view it yourself. Also another book that I highly, highly, highly recommend is this one. It's Universal's Guide to LLM Entrance Examination by Gaurav Mehta. I actually bought this when I appeared for CLAT PG course in 2014. I studied from this book thoroughly like you can even see these sticky notes there where I have written down names of subjects and I picked up this book again this time and it really worked well. Why I recommend this book 
is because of two things first of all for whatever subjects you need to study it has a very clean detailed theory part and then there are some practice questions also that you can solve like objective type questions are there that you can solve to increase your skill or your time management skills because this book is for LLM examination you may not be able to find all these subjects that you need to study for PhD exam or any other exam that you are preparing for but whatever subjects are there in this book you can surely give a read to the theory part as well as you can see the objective type questions as well so I definitely recommend you to buy this book whether you are appearing for LLM examination whether you are appearing for PhD examination judiciary or any other law exams for that matter it's a really good book next thing is to have a barrack of all these subjects that you need to study because barracks are very clear crisp and it saves a lot of your time for example if i'm reading constitution i can simply open this part like fundamental duties or fundamental rights for that matter and i can simply go through the articles i feel it's very easy to remember sections also it's very easy to remember the provisions as well of any legislation one more thing is that whatever legislation you are reading try to remember the date when it was incorporated and when it came into force that's also very important so buying a barrack for all the subjects that you are planning to study is a really 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 good idea for other subjects like jurisprudence and all you can simply refer a basic book i would say mineny and all because you just need to know the concept you will be able to elaborate it yourself so you can always refer to these and yes there were two three questions from jurisprudence as well and i tried attempting jurisprudence questions and i skipped questions from environmental law so if you have clarity on the topic because you have read it from a simple book it's very easy way like a complicated subject like jurisprudence also becomes easy when you are referring a simple book. For contract, I referred Avtar Singh but I don't have the book with me right now but yeah that's what I referred. For Hindu law, I referred to R.K. Agarwala. Then again for international law, these two basic books I referred. I will again put links of all these books in the description box below in case you are interested to check them out. For environmental law also, I referred a basic book links will again be in the description box below so you can check that out apart from all these books i have all these printouts or question papers from question papers for uh, ugc net or ntn net you can see uh, yes i did go through some of these questions just to get an idea on what kind of questions may be there in the 25 marks objective type question because 25 is a lot of marks that you need so I tried going through some of these question papers. Obviously, I had no time to go through all of these. But yes, I did go through some of these question papers to get an idea on the kind of questions that might be there. Apart from this, I also have printouts of uh, different question papers for judiciary. It's for Assam Judiciary. I never appear for Assam Judiciary, but I downloaded the question papers so that those can be useful in preparing for UCC net. So I did go through those questions also and it gave me an idea on what kind of questions I may expect for objective type questions. Alright, coming to subjective part because we have already completed LLB and LLM, we have a clear idea on what topics are important for a sub from a subject and which topics are not. Like if you are reading fundamental rights, article 14 is very important. It's not enough that you just know the provision, but you should know enough to write even for a 25 mark question. Even though it was 25 marks, they told us to write around 1000 words. And this entire exam, by the way, was for 100 marks, 3 hours time we were given. Now, when you are appearing for an exam where there is objective type questions as well as subjective type questions, you need to be focused on small little things like which section is providing for this, which section is providing for that sort of questions also. So, a barrack saves a lot of your time in going through those provisions. As well as when you have subjective type questions, then you are reading a certain topic, maybe from constitution, you are reading about parliamentary privileges. You should know this for sure that if a question is going to come for 25 marks also, you should have enough of good content to write there. 
maybe you can read two three cases relating to the topics that you are referring to or whatever recent developments you remember you can mention those things also in your answer that will give value to your answer and you will be able to secure more marks for the exam that i appeared we had a minimum passing mark also if i'm not wrong it was 55 or 60 i will mention it here i don't remember the marks right now but i'll see the notification and i'll put it here now coming to preparations we did not have enough of time because the notification was out and hardly in 15 20 days only the exam was held so yes we did not have enough of time to prepare for the exam or invest our time there also because uh, because of corona thankfully i'm here i could appear for the exam but yeah i was having my office as well nine hours of working thankfully work from home but yes office and then extra classes and all of that but in between that only somehow i could manage a little bit of time because all these subjects are something that we have already read multiple times during our LLB LLM so it was a little bit easier and also because I had all the notes prepared uh, and I referred to those notes only mostly as well as some books here and there some barracks here and there to prepare for the exam so yeah it went well somehow and this is how I prepared for the exam if you have any more concerns with regard to this regarding which you want me to make a video you can surely let me know that in the comment section below and also to be updated with all my upcoming videos, you can consider subscribing to the channel. To see video lectures relating to Indian Contract Act, you can click on this playlist. And to see video lectures relating to Constitution of India, click on this playlist. I will see you next time with another video. Bye-bye.